Nikola Jokic is the best player in basketball. Should he win yet another championship this season, there should be no more debate. He's Tim Duncan with a three-point shot, has Magic Johnson's vision for the court, and LeBron James's passing skills. But unlike previous players to hold the title of the best, Jokic is hardly a rock star. He's not a top 10 most famous player in the NBA today. If it weren't for his unusual body mass, sports fans wouldn't recognize his face in public. At one point, Nikola Jokic was being disrespected by peers and analysts. Now, everyone is willing to admit he's the best player in the league, and arguably the most difficult matchup to face. So how can such a dominant player resonate so little with the media at large? Former ESPN host Dan Lebetard blames Jokic's Serbian background. Lebetard says America hates Jokic because he's not American. And if he were, we'd celebrate him as a white dude who can hoop. You got a player who's foreign who, if he were American, good God, would he be a star. Good God! Same personality. Same exact personality. Holy would that a white dude's dominating the NBA? Yeah, but it's a white dude, but we don't understand or know him. Where does he come from? Oh, what's his past? What? His brothers. What? What is all that? All that is rugged beyond all of your belief. Here to get the money, dominating the sport with an assortment of survival skills that make him someone who feel like he's joylessly tearing apart your league because he can <laughs> with his armpits. You're making him out to be Rambo. I mean. He is! <laughs> you guys are telling me. You know what? It's, Rambo could not pull this one off. He's magic and bird and America hates him. What? Jokic's game doesn't translate to the house of highlightization of the NBA, in which kids consume the game via social media highlights. There are nods to Tim Duncan in Jokic's repertoire. Duncan is a top 10 player in history. He's not a top 40 in the category of celebrity status. Gilbert Arenas was a guest on JJ Reddick's The Old Man in the Three podcast where he discussed Nikola Jokic, casual fans, and the Denver Nuggets. At one point, Arenas compared Jokic to Tim Duncan and reminded Reddick about how fans simply didn't care for Duncan winning five championships. It's the players, their personality. Um, you know, Jokic is, is, is great, but he doesn't have it. You know, Jokic can win his championship. No one's going to care. Let's just be honest. I'm sorry. He's not going to go from where he is right now to this super mega star because he's not doing anything kids want to see. Nikola Jokic has an incredibly fun personality. His own brothers have become memes. And Jokic was the 41st pick in the NBA draft. There is so much of a story to write about him that it's more of a responsibility of the NBA to do a better job of covering Jokic. He's arguably the greatest late-round pick in the history of the NBA and could easily be covered extensively the same way Giannis Antetokounmpo could be covered. It's simply just lazy conversation to say Nikola Jokic does not have quote-unquote it. Draymond Green, who has seen his fair share of battles with the Joker, whether it's been in the regular season or in the playoffs, begs to differ. Jokic today isn't the same player he was when Green faced him in the 2022 playoffs. I've had my fair share of good matchups against Joker. Um, I've given him a little bit of hell on some night, but he gave me total and complete hell tonight, and I had absolutely no answers, and I'm just going to laugh about it because either you laugh or you cry. And so I'm going to laugh about it. I had absolutely no answers tonight. I mean, he was brilliant, and he is in incredible shape, man. Y'all should have saw this man running the floor. I had to, like, turn on my, my burners a little bit a couple times to, like, keep up with him from running the floor. And he was just going, man. It wasn't like he got tired. Like, he was just going and going. And, um, man, shout out to Joker. It's always fun to play against him. Sounds like a guy who has it. Jokic is also foreign. Foreign players do not resonate with the media slash public as swiftly as those that are American-born. A transcendent star has to drip stardom both in their craft and on the mic. Michael Jordan, LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, and Magic Johnson were as interesting off the court as on. Foreign players not fluent in English struggle to excel in the latter prereq. Jokic is perhaps a greater player than Steph Curry, yet his style of play, apparent lack of personality, and off-court presence are not. And it's not the NBA fans that root against Jokic. Rather, it's the media. Unlike, for example, LeBron James and other top-tier stars, the Joker tries his hardest to avoid the public spotlight. 
It wasn't until an interview with his teammate, Michael Porter Jr., that we found out why. When I finish my career, I really wish nobody knows me. And I will wish my kid or kids in the future, who knows, uh, remember me as a dad, not as a basketball player, you know. And uh, just feel sad when, whenever you go to the bar, restaurant, um, some game, people are just taking the phones and out and uh, trying to record you. I think that's really, I'm going to say rude. Yeah. Know? It's not that I'm showing myself, I, I'm just yeah, who I am. Living. For Jokic, basketball is really just a job. And it's just one of the many important things that he's got going on in his life. As we all know, his horses are the most important. When he eventually retires from the NBA, there's a good chance we might never see him again. Unless you end up at the Kentucky Derby. This type of attitude usually doesn't get you far in the NBA, or anywhere that involves the best of the best. But the Joker has found a way to prosper anyway, and his career speaks for itself. It's been a truly unprecedented run for the Nuggets superstar, and he's made a fortune for his performance over the years. But when it's all said and done, we all know that Jokic will disappear from the public eye just as quickly as he entered it. Lebetard suggests there's a demand for a white player to star in the NBA. Firstly, there's no proof of that. Notice he didn't steer us toward any studies that say this is the case. Secondly, some say it's quite clear Jokic's skin color is why certain media members dislike him. Despite false allegations that the NBA media is 90% white, the vast majority of NBA television personalities are black and thus have far greater influence than any number of beat reporters, who are typically white. Of the two NBA pregame shows on TNT and ESPN, all six analysts are black. The leading NBA commentators are as well, from Stephen A. Smith to Charles Barkley to Michael Wilbon. The same Stephen A. Smith who made a questionable claim on first take, asserting that Jason Tatum is the leading candidate for the NBA MVP award. With Joel Embiid's sideline due to injury, Smith argued that Tatum's impressive performance and leadership for the Boston Celtics make him deserving of the honor. I got Jason Tatum as the leading candidate for league MVP. I knew you was going to say this. Now that Joel Embiid is out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Does winning matter? Does being the best player on the best team matter? I'd say it does. They've got the best record in basketball. They've got a six-game cushion in the Eastern Conference. He is the best player on the Boston Celtics. He is the best player on the best team in the NBA. And I'm saying we ain't going to ignore this brother any longer. While Tatum is undoubtedly a key contributor to the Celtics, his MVP candidacy is challenged by the remarkable performances of Jokic. It sounds like Smith is just finding a substitute for Embiid, once again neglecting Jokic because he's white. And because some 70% of NBA players are black and ESPN rarely hires white people, nearly all of the former players currently contributing to the game coverage are also black. So if pundits can accuse the white football commentators of cold-shouldering black quarterbacks, it's fair to wonder aloud if black basketball commentators do the same to white players, a minority group in the league. And unlike the case of the NFL media, there is evidence to suggest the abhorrence of Jokic is related to race. Lebetard says the fans want to see a white dude succeed in the NBA. Perhaps, perhaps not. But the NBA media certainly does not. It remains to be seen who wins the MVP award this year. Though Nikola Jokic may be leading in the race, things could easily change before the end of this season. And perhaps a different player will win it. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing NBA content.